AP Chemistry Screencast 2.12 Net Ionic Equations. To write a net ionic equation, write the whole thing out. That means a balanced molecular equation for a reaction. Then identify a precipitate. Show the ions that form the precipitate and the product. Everything else is still in solution. They are spectator ions. They can be ignored since they really do not play a role in the chemical reaction. They might play a role in the rate of the reaction, things like that, but they are still spectator ions. Write a net ionic equation for the reaction of potassium phosphate. That should dissolve. It's a group 1 metal. With calcium nitrate, that should dissolve. It's a nitrate. So the precipitate should be the calcium phosphate. So really, it should be calcium plus phosphate makes calcium phosphate. Watch out for your charges. I mean, calcium is plus 2 and phosphate is plus 3, so make sure it's balanced. Start with the entire molecular equation. There it is, potassium phosphate. Just as a little background, remember that we need three of the plus one potassiums to offset one of the minus three phosphates. So if you have trouble balancing these calcium nitrate, you need two of the minus one nitrates to offset the plus two calcium. Uh, review the appropriate screencast or practice a few of these. Potassium phosphate and calcium nitrate undergo a double displacement reaction to form potassium nitrate and calcium phosphate. The really only the only thing of significance, however, is the fact that calcium ions are combining with phosphate anions to form that precipitate, since everything else just stays in solution. Therefore, all we have to write is that the calcium ions react with the phosphate ions to form calcium phosphate. Once you have this balanced internally, in other words, calcium phosphate does have three calciums and two phosphates, just use those as your subscripts become your coefficients in order to write the balanced chemical reaction. Sodium hydroxide soluble, sodium's group one, magnesium nitrate is soluble, same deal, nitrates are always soluble, so I guess the, pre the precipitate will be magnesium hydroxide. So you could just skip the whole thing and write, let's see, an Mg reacts with two OH minuses to form magnesium hydroxide. But here's the whole balanced molecular equation. I hope you're seeing that as a strategy for AP chemistry, if you're having trouble with time, is skip this step, identify the pre precipitate, and then just write the reaction to form it. Sodium hydroxide plus magnesium nitrate makes sodium nitrate magnesium hydroxide, which is your precipitate. Note the solid. Therefore, Oh, now we got to balance it. Don't forget to do that. I guess, you know, once again, that's not going to play a role, really. Obviously, you're going to need, obviously you're going to need one magnesium and two hydroxides to make it. And that's it. Don't forget to write the phases that it's in, solid, liquid, gas, or aqueous. What do you do with a weak electrolyte? Don't write it as dissociated. You know, it does a little bit, but since it's weak, you write it as uh, liquid, solid, that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, that is writing net ionic equations.